police officers and this shaman, and they're all working toward getting him onto the Senate floor. That's not what we were told the story was of this day. That's not at all. But this thing that was, you know, supposed to be the worst thing that's happened to America. I mean, just keep in mind, and this is not, it almost sounds like I'm bullshitting when I say this, but like, try to keep in mind what was, what the claims about January 6th were. January 6th was compared to Pearl Harbor and 9-11 by the sitting vice president of the United States of America. So I'm not just saying like, some lefty podcaster said this. You know what I mean? Like, this is what the vice president said. Joe Biden claimed that five police officers were killed. The, the actual number was zero. You know, like, there's, there's just, they really, really tried to spin this into something that it just wasn't, however you feel about January 6th. Um, it's just, it's not what they were claiming it was. Um. There's there's some some of the response to this has been uh, pretty entertaining as well. Um, we could we could get into a little bit of that. Um, we had uh, you had uh, Chuck Schumer uh, responding. Or I guess before we, we go to Chuck Schumer, I would say there were a few other things that were were, you know, that stood out. And of course, Tucker Carlson has said this is just part one uh, tonight. He says he's going to re- be doing a whole new thing on this. So we'll see what happens with that. Um there were a lot of videos in general that just showed how orderly people were being. In fact, there was one video that kind of stuck out to me where there's like something knocked over on the ground and a guy goes and picks it up and like sets it back up. Right. You know, it's that they, they showed that they really tried. Um, what's that one um, congressman who they tried to mock at the January 6th uh, hearings when they showed him jogging away. Oh, uh, Holly. Yeah. No, I think it was the Senator. I think it was Senator uh, Josh Hawley. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Um, so they tried to mock him. However, when you see the full video, you realize that he was the last one. So he was actually everyone went before him and then he went, which it's just little things like that where you're like, oh, you want to talk about what they're accusing Tucker Carlson of doing here of like, um, you know, uh, um, you know, dishonestly, you know, showing things out of context or like editing things to try to pay. It's like, well, that's what you guys did at the actual like committee. This is also, what you guys did. It was so odd that they laughed because if you thought that that was a violent crowd there to overthrow the government, why wouldn't you be running away from that crowd? It oh, didn't and, make sense right. why the room of people even laughed at that. No, at it's, that vid- it's totally video fine to weaponize that against your political enemies. But then, like, if AOC is scared or something like that, we have to all be, you know, uh, um, we have to all be so sympathetic to that. Anyway, um, there, there was. Were there any other takeaways to you that were like big from the from the videos that were released? Well, I think I was kidding all the way back when this happened that it was basically people who skipped the line to take a tour. Uh, And there certainly were some people that engaged in violence and those people should have accountability. But once the decision was made by the police to let them in and they're standing there and they're opening up doors and everyone else that was inside the building, uh, those people need to be let out of jail. The people that did violence, they need to be held accountable. But it's pretty clear that a lot of these people were just walking around taking some pictures and the idea that we have some uprising of domestic terrorism, that the FBI needs to become more involved in policing the Internet, is just certifiably false. And the people that strung these, strung these narratives, who had access to all this footage, bear some accountability. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, this is, uh, again, the, these people who have continued to spread this narrative, that this, uh, um, the, the, the narrative that's been spread for, you know, two years now, um, they had access to this footage. So they knew all along. Well, anyone could tell you from looking at this stuff. It's, it's, it's just this simple. This was not an insurrection. It's just not what it was. It's describe it however you want to. That is not the word that you would use to describe this. It's just not. And it's, uh, hopefully this will end up in the history books, but the lengths and efforts the FBI went to prosecuting the random individuals that were walking around on that day. I mean, we know all the violence that was happening in these cities prior and us Mm -hmm. saying, Hey, they could find these people if they wanted to, but they didn't, they didn't want it. They didn't want to look on Facebook. They didn't want to look at the geo tracking. They didn't want to look at camera footage from cities. Some nobody was held accountable for any of the other protests that we saw throughout COVID looting of stores. We saw a lot of shit. And then all of a sudden when it came to this, they were working with Facebook. They spent millions of dollars I think in I think in like the hundreds of millions of dollars on prosecutors to track these individuals down, 
And as more of the footage comes out, I think it's going to become apparent just how absolutely evil that was of government. Yeah, and I think, I, I mean, look, I think there, it's not only that they didn't spend it on, like, the Summer of Love, you know, uh, riots, but they uh, they spent it in the opposite direction. They were spending money to make sure that violent criminals were bailed out immediately and got right back out there into rioting. Look, I've talked about this before, but if we want to go, before we go to Chuck Schumer, I suppose we could kind of zoom out to, like, the bigger picture of all of this. Again, this is not, I'm not saying this as if, like, I definitively know for sure, um, but it's just too much to ignore. When you zoom out and look at the year that was 2020, of course, this technically was in January of 2021, but let's extend that year six more days and include January 6th in that period of time. It's hard to not see this thing as a colored revolution. 